Disciples of Prophet T.B. Joshua, founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Quan, have held back from reacting to statements directed at them by the televangelist widow, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Mrs. Joshua had in a sermon titled Our Relationship with God on Sunday, May 8, 2022, accused some unnamed disciples of undermining her husband while he was alive. The 53-year-old also said some of them acquired houses, large bank accounts, and other assets while serving in the church. In her words, quote, Many have built houses. I am working for God. Many have trained their siblings out of higher institutions. We are working for God. Many have huge bank accounts. They are working for God. Evelyn, who succeeded her husband as squad leader in September 2021, three months after his death, recalled an experience when a disciple surprised her by paying their hotel bills during a foreign trip. Speaking about the experience, Evelyn said, quote, I traveled out with some people out of this ministry, and when we got to our destination, we had problem paying our hotel bills because the credit card for the ministry wasn't working. A disciple dipped her hand into her pocket, brought out her credit card, and paid. I froze. Evelyn also accused some of her late husband's disciples of bringing their family members to get food and money at the church on their behalf. According to her, quote, at the end of every service like today, you will see them hanging around with them at every corner of the church, the same family that rejected them. Speaking further, she asked her husband's disciples to stop talking about the number of years they spent with him. Without mentioning a particular name, Evelyn said, quote, can someone stop talking about how many years he or she spent in the synagogue? According to her, Prophet T.B. Joshua asked some of the disciples to leave, but they chose to stay behind. Although she did not mention names, Evelyn's message is believed to be directed at senior members who left the church after her husband's death, but still claim allegiance to him. They include Racine Busso, Ruth Tong, and her brother Christopher Tong, Yinka Egbejobi, and Mary Ann Ibe. None of the disciples has responded to her sermon at the time of filing this report. They, however, still call her mommy, in spite of the unfavorable circumstances in which some of them left Squan after a succession crisis and her eventual emergence as the church's leader. <laughs>